Hi, um, my name's Nikki Baker. I've been doing mixed media for a while now. And one of the things which I like to use is black acrylic paint to highlight something or to give something a bit of a, a spark. And an easy way to do this is to use bottle tops. You can, you can use any different size of bottle tops, from small ones to really large containers. So I'll just go through a few, a few of the things that I use when I'm doing my mixed media work. So I start off just by inking up the top. This isn't a precise art and it can get a bit messy. So here we're just going to use a fairly chunky circle and just put some marks on the paper. And then we'll try a different size and just go in and highlight a few areas. And then go to a very small one and just do a little bit more and often it looks nice just going off the edge with your pattern so as we can see there we've got quite a nice pattern just with circles done with black acrylic ink and a few bottle tops so we're then going to move on and try and do a little bit of pattern building so one of the ways you can do this is to use the different size bottle tops so you can find that you have several different tops which look very similar but they're all slightly different sizes. So that one fits inside that one and that one then fits inside that one. So they're all slightly different sizes. So we'll start from the biggest one this time. Just do a couple of circles. And then we'll use the next one down. And because these are such a close size there won't be much of a difference here. It will just give you an idea of the sort of thing that you can do just using a bottle top. So here we are going on the third one. This is a little bit smaller so you can actually see the different difference here. And then maybe just to give a little bit of definition we'll just use this here, here and take off a lot of the ink and just put a bit of a centre in each one. It isn't precise, but it just gives you a little bit of patterning. And all, you, all I'm using here is bottle tops and acrylic ink. I'm showing you on pattern paper, because I think on paper this would be just a little bit too boring. And using a little one, what we could then do is you could just go around the outside, preferably without dropping it, and we could turn this into a bit of a flower. And using this technique you can use quite a lot of ink and you can get quite a solid even line or you can use just a little bit of ink and you get a little bit more faded. It gets a nice distressed look. It depends really which look you're looking for. So there's a couple of flowers and I'll leave that one just, just as it is. Another thing you can do is create a lovely border and to do this if you take your a piece of torn paper and just take one of the larger bottle tops so I'll go really large with this one and we're only after, after half the circle so I'll just do, do it this way Not even half the circle here that's a bit. And having done that we can then go on and use a smaller circle so let's just use this one here if you want to be more precise you can always use masking tape to hold the piece of paper down and then go in from there i'm just going to do one more here Take that away, you'll see you've actually got quite a nice border. I'd be quite happy with that round 
a card or around a canvas. That's very simple. Just using three different size bottle tops and away you go. You can also do a little bit of pattern building just by using the dark circles. So if we just have three circles and we can make a nice little pyramid here. And then if you want to, you can add to it by just making some circles with some of the smaller and the smaller ones. So just a little bit of pattern building that you can do just using your different coloured, different size bottle tops. To finish with, I'm just going to go a little bit mad and I'm going to have a go at doing a face. Now my lips haven't worked very well when I've done this, so I'm just going to have a go at the eyes and I'll show you how I do the eyes. Starting off with the dark centres to the eyes, we then use one of the smaller, the medium sized ones, and we're just going to put a circle touching the bottom of the eyeball, just like that. And then taking one of the larger ones of that group, um, which I think is this one, we're now going to make an eyelid, but the eyelid is going to come halfway down the eye. So we're going to take it like that. And I've intentionally gone over, because we're not going for a precise look here, we're just going for what looks like an eye. And then if we take the last line, just going from the centre of the eye going round and it just gives you an idea of the shape of the face and where the eye sits. And from a distance I think that does actually look like a pair of eyes. Perhaps I'm kidding myself. Anyway, have a go at playing with some bottle tops. Use both ends and you don't just have to use the ends, you can use the sides as well. So you can roll, the, roll it in the paint and then roll it along and you can get a nice coating of painting just making a nice rough border there. So lots of those different things you can do. I did have a go at making some lips but they didn't work out very well. So you can see here, if I can find it, there didn't work very well and neither did it work very well up here. In fact, this was even worse, so I had to go here and it didn't work out very well at all. Although I did quite like the eyes on this one. So, have a play. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please share. I'd love to. I'd love you to share and like this video um, and I'll be doing another one soon. Thank you.